Hey, hope everything's good with you and that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And uh, as you just saw, we're going to talk about tracking plugins for Final Cut Pro because this is the show. I'm just going to start this video off by saying a huge thank you to all of you that are out there watching my videos, spending time with me, just hanging out. You guys rock, so thank you so much for that. And if this is your first time watching me, hey, hope you're going to enjoy the content. If you are, make sure to subscribe because that would be highly appreciated. And if you want to see more of what I do behind the scenes and that kind of stuff, uh, then you can join me on Instagram. I'm going to put it right here so you can check that out if you want. Not a must, but if you want. When it comes to spending money on plugins, it is very hard to find like the right plugin that does exactly what you wanted to do. I think that the amount of money that I've spent on plugin that hasn't worked is way more than I wish that it would be. But the plugin that we're going to talk about today is called M Tracker 3D. And this has got to be the absolute best tracking plugin for Final Cut Pro. And in this video, I thought I'd show you how I use it and how you can use it in your videos because it's very simple, but it also looks extremely professional. So the first thing that you gotta do in Final Cut Pro is to drag the clips to the timeline that you want to have. And I got four different clips of Gothenburg that I shot with my DJI Air 2S. And this tracking plugin works insanely good with drone shots in particular because it's so much data that the plugin can like track and different kind of points that you can find in the shot. But it does of course work well when you're shooting handled stuff as well, as long as you have some sort of like contrasty areas that you can track. Because if, if you're shooting too dark, then it's not gonna be able to track anything because it's an even gray image. To use the plugin, the only thing that you gotta do is to go to the effects panel here on the right hand side, and then choose M Tracker 3D and drag it onto your clip. And then you're gonna get this panel up on the right hand side in the effects panel where it says track. And you're just gonna hit that, bam. And then we're gonna let the plugin do its job. This might take some time depending on what kind of resolution that you got on your footage and how much data that the plugin has to collect. But as you know, we can do some magic when we're working with the video. So speed up the process. Once the tracking is done, what you want to do is that you want to go up here to the effects panel again and you want to hit copy track. And then we're going to choose the effect that we want. And when you buy M Tracker 3D, you get a bunch of different ones that you can use. So you can place out a skull if you want to, if you. We're going to choose this, a target, and we're going to drag it to the timeline. And we're going to make sure that it's the entire length of the clip that we got. And then we're going to go up to the effects panel again and hit paste track. And now you can see this crosshair that we've got here. So we're going to click that. And then I'm going to place it right here in the middle of the road. And if we play this back, you can see that we got a slightly tilted target or pointer right here. So we're going to go to the effects panel once again. And then we're going to rotate it so that we get it straight. And then we're also going to reduce the scale of it because I want it to be smaller. We're going to change the description text to He Sings Brun because that's what the bridge is actually called. And now that we play this back, you can see that I have a pointer tracked in 3D space on the bridge. That is impressive. Let's move on to the next shot because I want to show you something else. One of the best parts with this tracking plugin is that Motion VFX constantly drops new stuff that you can apply the tracking data to. So we're gonna do the same thing with this shot. We're gonna to go to M Tracker 3D and we're gonna drag it onto the clip and then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna hit track and allow it to track the footage. And with some uh, movie magic, we're all done. And then we're gonna go into M Tracker 3D expansions. And here it has some really cool assets that is not only clean, but also a little bit of high tech. And these fit very well into like vlogging, traveling, real estate, and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna choose the Info 27, and I'm gonna drag this onto the timeline, place it above our clip. And then we're gonna choose our, our clip, and we're gonna go up to the right hand side, Effects, and choose Copy Track. And then you want to go back to Info 27 and make sure that the playhead is where we want it to be in the beginning of the clip. And we're going to hit P 
paste track. Bam, all the tracking data is submitted. And then again, you can see the crosshair. I'm gonna click that. So we're gonna scroll into the middle and then we're gonna place the tracking point right here. I'm gonna make sure that the content scale is a lot smaller. And we also wanna make sure that we rotate this so that it's level. And of course, I'm gonna write Gothenburg, Sweden. And then we're gonna change the text to orange. I think that is pretty cool. And uh, you know what? I actually think that this looks pretty good. So here is the final result. So you can use this plugin for a bunch of different things and it is by far the best tracking plugin that I've ever used to Final Cut Pro. And I know that tracking plugins is something that is very hard to find and it's also something that is very useful when you have it. Good thing about it is that it also works on the M1 computer. So if you're having a Mac Mini M1, this is the plugin that you want to have. So I really hope that you found this video helpful and if you want to buy the plugin, I'm going to drop a link down below so you can go there and check that out. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up because that would be highly appreciated. And um, also do drop a comment on what you think about this new setup because we haven't had this one before. And uh, yeah, don't forget to join me on Instagram. All that good stuff for the behind the scenes, va? I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, take care.